I think the Keys has a image problem. <laughs> it's Saturday, November 5th, 14, 15, whatever, whatever that Saturday is, and there's nobody here. I mean, it's a Saturday. It is a blinding sun, bordering on a hot day, and there is nobody out here. I mean, given our, our peak period doesn't generally start until after Thanksgiving and then the snowbirds come down, but still nobody on a Saturday. Even like the paddleboard tour people usually run out of here and usually, usually see their van a couple times a day, but I don't know, it's not good. I know it affects my channel in that uh, I get a lot of views during the winter time because people planning their trips and getting excited about their trips to come down to the Keys. So they really start just purging on watching my videos. But with less people come, I think this this year is not going to be as good as I uh, was hoping for versus even like last year. But anyways, what we are going to do is that we've got a break in the wind starting this afternoon through tomorrow. So today I'm just going to kind of play around earlier in the day here till the wind starts settling. And then I'm going to try to start trolling out in the Hawks Channel and the the early patcheries and just see if there's anything around. Hopefully there's some birds around. Uh, but right now I think I'm going to see if maybe I can cast net some uh, pilchards, play around in the uh, channel, and then keep my eye out and see how the water looks. So that's the plan. So I installed a new cord. So that's new. And I rebuilt this one the second time in 24 hours. So we're going to test these guys out and make sure we're good for tomorrow. Okay, we rope anchored up on the PCV pipe right at the shark channel outlet. I've got my bucket of chummer pilchers there. So I'm gonna start throwing just a few out there. The current's still ramping up pretty good, so I don't know how effective that'll be. But I also brought the chugger that I found while shoreline scavenging, put a couple new hooks on it. So I could play with that as well if I can get any activity going. But mainly I'm looking out into the backdrop and looking for any bird activity. So if I could see a school of birds working, then I'm pulling the rope and heading out and that's primarily what I want to do today. And I just get a couple of them and just start throwing them out there every once in a while just to see if we can get anything to start coming around. Something's playing with it. There we go. Bottom fisher. This is on a knocker rig with the pilchard. Head shaker. What do we got here? Uh, feeling jackish. Doing the circle thing. Ah, oh, Blue Runner. Interesting. Alright. Still Jack family, but bait species. I don't have my big rods, otherwise, I could put this dude on. Oh, something's jumping right there. Hit me, baby. Don't know what that was, but it was pushing water. Come back. Oh, crap. Ah. Some action going here. 
get those vibrations out. A ah, little lane. A little snapper. Yeah, lassoed you. And then gutted you. Ah. Sorry about that. That's gotta suck. There we got something nicer. Pulled nicer at least. Doesn't feel jackish. Ah, another little slappers. Nice to see you guys around. Little on the little side. Baby muttons. Something not very big. Little snap eyes. Mr. Grover. Come over here. Welcome to the show. There we go. That's something better. That's uh, putting a bend on the rod at least. What do we got in this murky water? Mr. Jack. Good Jack, but still Mr. Jack. These will get, whoa, these will get bigger as the water cools down. There we go. Give up, give up. Whoa. I'm going to be doing is just trolling these uh, five inch uh, paddle tails. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my uh, jig heads I bought specifically for those. So I'll definitely have to remember to put some in my box uh, for tomorrow. I'm looking for birds working bait. So that's the plan. If I could find any uh, topwater action, then I'll throw that popper. But otherwise, we're just going to blind troll around and see what happens. All right, we got some bird activity. Put that out there and see if we can pick something up. We got something on. Not very big though, but get us started off, see what it is. Decent school busting over there, just never made it that far. Feeling kind of jackish. Yep. School o' jacks, working it. All right. Ate my tail already, too. Put on one of those little dinky paddle tails. I got chomped up as soon as I put in the water. Let's see what this thing is. We just might be in a big school of jacks. Whoa! Getting chased. What is that? 
Spanish or Ciro? Nice. Ciro, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Freedom. So I stepped it down to a much smaller paddle tail, the smallest one I've got. And that seems to be the ticket. Otherwise, they're just nipping off the tail. So we're going to keep dragging these little guys around. Matches the glass minnows is what they're eating. All right. Fish on. What do we got? The seagull's going to eat it, so it's not that big. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Ah, another zero. All right. So it's good to know these guys are around. And they'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger as the... Uh, water temps get cooler but this is what I wanted to know if they were around yet so that's a good sign so nice little zero yeah I'm gonna let you go all right off you go Okay, so I just wanted to verify that fall season pattern, which is afternoon time, birds chasing bait, uh, the mackerels are starting to come in, so there will be Ciro, Spanish, and Kings working in close like that. Jacks, of course, all year. Um, probably start seeing the Bonitos in here as well. But it just comes out as a good option, evening time. I want to just get on some fish really quickly and easily. I could just make the run out from... Uh, the Geiger Keyside, look for the birds and just run through them. Uh, if I want to catch a lot without a lot of hassles, I could just put on a, a hard bait and just troll that, Rapala, x wrap any one of those. But I have a ton of those soft plastics. I love the paddle tails for trolling, so I've got those to work with. Uh, but also, I could anchor up and uh, chum inside on Hawk's Channel just as the reef, uh, just as the flats start dropping off and I could get those fish just circling me as well. So a lot of options that opens up for that fall pattern. Uh, now I think I'm gonna go back into Shark Channel. I wanna catch something on that uh, popper. Uh, the bay out here is just, it's spread out all over and they're busting just small ones all over. It's too hard to try to run it down to throw that thing. I need the bigger bait balls like I saw on the Gulf side. But uh, I think I could probably pull something on the edge of the Shark Channel. So we're going to go run in now. Well, another very nice evening. Not seeing much action on the top water, but then I'm not seeing much action at all in here. Looks like we're hitting right at slack tide. Come on, largemouth bass, where are you? I'm really not sure what this lure would mimic out here. Not too many frogs swimming across the channel. I don't know too many bait fish that chug like this. Looks cool. I would hit it. And the sun has set. All right. I'm going to keep fishing, but it's going to start getting dark here. Tomorrow's plan is going to be uh, fishing on the reef. I'm not going to go outside like I usually do. Take a couple of blocks of chum. I really want to catch ballyhoo. The whole thing is going to be based on catching ballyhoo. Something that I haven't been able to do and geez, since coming on a long time. So hopefully I could pick up some ballyhoo out on the reef and then... Uh, Put some up top, run some on the bottom, and uh, see what we can get. Uh, yeah, just a mixed bag fishing, maybe some yellow tails, of course. But uh, really want to key everything around the, the uh, ballyhoo. So anyways, that is tomorrow's action. So today, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.
Bye.